The heavy gunner of my Space Marine squad ran dry on ammo one turn before I would have completed a tense holdout mission against the ravenous Gene Stealer hordes of Space Hulk tactics. Without his suppressive fire obliterating any aliens who dared to proceed down the long corridor from their main spawn point, the Nasties were able to pick my Battle Brothers apart one by one, the defensive position collapsing like a house of cards. My plan had almost worked beautifully, just like this game. Tactics isn't the first video game adaptation of the asymmetrical turn-based board game that pits slow space marines packing potent firepower against swift and deadly gene stealers who excel in melee combat, but it is the slickest looking. The terrain is detailed and readable, each creeping alien and hulking suit of power armor is adorned with small touches that help them pop, and whether you're storming the corridors of a ramshackle orc vessel or an abandoned, eerily pristine Eldar frigate, there's plenty of cool stuff to look at and blast into a million pieces in a panic to kill the oncoming swarm. Mechanically, everything about the tactical experience is expertly balanced and nurturing to creative tactics and hectic long shots. Similar to the XCOM series, deciding how to break up limited action points between movement, adjusting your facing, taking shots, and covering approaches with Overwatch is the key and most interesting challenge. Advancing quickly can keep you ahead of the mission timer or save an ally in a tricky spot, but it exposes you to vicious counterattacks that could cost the entire mission. If you're too conservative, though, you risk getting surrounded and overwhelmed or not getting to the objective in time. The tension is a constant ebb and flow that rewards you with cathartic moments of relief when a careful plan or desperate gambit pays off. When playing as the Gene Stealers, the atmosphere is turned on its head. You always have the upper hand in terms of information, numbers, and freedom of movement, but you're also forced to be cagey and deceptive, as a frontal assault is more than likely to fail. It feels a bit less shirt-ringing, but also more fun. Finding the chink in the armor of a Space Marine formation that would allow me to isolate the metal-clad Crusaders and skewer them one at a time rarely got old. I just wish it controlled a bit better. The interface seems designed for a gamepad, even though I'd much rather be using a mouse and keyboard on this type of game. I had to choose between trying to play it like a PC strategy game and having my clicks often not register or trigger something unintended, or pick up my Xbox controller and deal with the hassle of, for instance, having to use the buttons to manually cycle through all of my units instead of simply clicking to select them. Mouse scrolling doesn't work very well either, and stops working at all in some cases, like when you're trying to choose a target for a power card. Aside from skirmish and ranked match modes that work pretty much as one would expect, there are single-player campaigns for each faction. The Space Marines get 13 missions across a dynamic map with events, dilemmas, and collectible loot. The story is nothing to write home to Terra about, but presents the typical grimdark, far-future melodrama of the 40k universe in all its cheesy glory. The Nine Mission Gene Stealer campaign, by comparison, feels like a bit of an afterthought, with not much in the way of campaign mechanics to speak of other than a couple opportunities to decide between one of two approaches to a specific mission. As a tactical strategy game, the challenge and depth of Space Hulk tactics is spot on. The characters and levels look great, each unit type has plenty of cool abilities to create vast possibilities for approaching a problem, every map is laid out in such a way as to force both teams to constantly make interesting decisions, the Space Marine campaign has some really cool ideas that help it not feel like you're just hitting next mission over and over, it's just a bummer that the controls get in the way of me being able to truly dive in and enjoy it a lot of the time, like having to eat a really nice Thanksgiving pie with just a spatula. For more tactics, check out our reviews of Bard's Tale 4 and Frozen Synapse 2. And for everything else, stick with IGN.